So, real quick, I think if we got enough light, I'm gonna answer or show you guys how to use a GoPro if you're out hunting or you're trying to shoot some shit. Um, they're not the best camera to use. Wearable cameras are not the best camera for stuff where the point of interest is out in the distance. If you're walking along on a trail and you want to be like, oh, a deer, 60 yards, cool. It's going to look like a mile you won't even see it with a GoPro. It's not the camera to use, but there are ways to tweak it and it'll work. Um, even a camera like this, a DSLR, unless you have a long lens, it's not going to be the best uh, as far as getting out you know, with distance. And I know like guys that want to mount them on their shotguns and it's like, dude, I was shooting ducks all day long, but you can't hardly tell. It's because they're super wide angle. They're meant to be worn on you or on the point of interest. If it's on my snowmobile, it's, it's mounted on my sled or it's on me and it's catching everything else around you, which is the point of interest um, because it's such a wide angle. So what I'm going to suggest right now, if you don't have a camera um, and you're getting a GoPro or whatever, get uh, a newer model obviously a four or five or what have you um, that you can go like in 1080 you can go wide narrow or wide medium narrow and uh, I'll show you the differences here with my bow um, that's like the only real way to do it and make it look somewhat Jesus let him live um, and make it look even somewhat usable um, I'm, I know a lot of people that they get them for Christmas or birthday presents or whatever don't have any idea how to use it exactly but they want to use it um, just in everyday life and if you're trying to use it on things where the point of interest is not you or you're not mounting it on whatever that is you're trying to look out in the distance at something um, you're going to need to be able to narrow that up and I'll show you the differences. Another thing you also want a GoPro that is app compatible. I know some people are like, oh, well, I got a remote. Well, that remote, in my opinion, ain't worth a damn when you've got the app. The app, you can link right to your, to your GoPro, obviously, and use your screen to see exactly what you're seeing. So you can go through there and go, okay, this is what it looks like on my head, looking down my bowstring at 80 yards. Can't see anything. So you narrow it up a little bit and up and up and up until you find the exact angle because you can't wear it totally on your face if you're shooting a bow you're gonna look this way but in reality out the corner of your eye you're looking this way so you have to cock it on the corner of your head it's just things you gotta you gotta try and you gotta mess with um, prior to so we'll show you how to do that okay so now I look like a jackass with a GoPro on my head which is unavoidable if this is the kind of stuff you want to be doing um, turn your Wi-Fi on and uh, hit capture Connect your camera. This is a GoPro Hero 4 Black. Um, notice how it's cocked sideways. This is just like a ballpark, um, just because I've done it before and I kind of know uh, where it ought to be. So now I'm connected, and you'll see right here, this is what I'm looking at in a slight delay, but pretty much live feed. And I can go through here and go, okay, that's, two, that's 4K. I'm going to go to 1080 because I already know that I need to do this. I'm going to turn my frame rate up to 120 just so I can see hopefully my arrow passing through a deer's pump station. Field of view is at wide. We're going to go to narrow so I can back out and see, okay, it's a lot narrower. It's a lot more accurate looking. Like, I guess you'll have to take my word for it. But uh, anyway, we're going to mess around with a couple of those settings and I'll show you at like 18 yards what it looks like going through a target this is my little pup Hank wishing he could come out and bite my toes off while I'm doing this but that's just not going to be happening right now okay this is 1080 at wide and we're going to back it down all the way to narrow but uh well oh my god I gotta my wife just had to have this giant peacock right in the way of the block every freaking time bling one in the wide setting again this is like 18 yards so not even 20 you're gonna want you're gonna want some serious uh, close distance stuff if you're gonna try to get any kind of good picture. So you see the block down there? Filming at 120 frames. Now I have it cocked a little bit, so hopefully it looks like I'm looking right down the stream here. Look at me shooting in a residential. Boom! 
Okay, now we're on medium. So it should look a little bit closer. Let's fire another arrow. Okay, so this is narrow, and this is about as accurate to like what your eyeballs would normally see. And I found that this uh, typically works a lot better. You cancel out a lot of, out a lot of the left and right stuff, obviously, but um, what you're looking at is uh, a lot easier to see. So there it is, hopefully that helps. Um, one thing I can say is just really use the app, go through it, take some time before you go on your hunt or wherever you're planning on using the thing and really find, even write this shit down. Just, hey, you know, if, it, if you're trying to see animals down, you know, at full draw, you're shooting deer or whatever, you're probably gonna want it on narrow, probably 1080, run it in 120 frames, just, uh, for the slow motion factor if you do happen to smoke it on film it'll look really cool when you slow it down i think you'll find that it's not the best camera for making a hunting film it can add uh cool clips and everything but in all honesty it takes a lot to to do a whole you know film and make it look right using a gopro but so there it is that's that's how i use the gopro on my head um, when i'm chasing bears or doing whatever um it does work and it has a pretty cool point of view and it's uh, a lot easier to do when you're out uh, self filming like I usually have to so yeah mess with those settings and uh, make it work for you